Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Welcome back to Forensics 2020. Um, again, this first week we are starting out on e-learning. My name is Miss Baker, and you can find my email address right here for you in case if you ever need to get a hold of me. You can always message me through Canvas as well. That will come through my email too. So a little bit about me. There's me with my doggos. This is Lexi. Lexi just turned one year old. And then this is Harper up here. And Harper just turned two years old. I will say one positive thing from quarantine is I got to hang out with my dogs a lot. I got to take them on many, many walks. We tried to hit up every single metro park in central Ohio. So we had our fair share of socially distant adventures throughout the summer. All right, so a couple things about forensics. Forensics, I don't know how much you guys have heard from other students who have taken the class but it is definitely a class where you're doing a lot of hands-on activities, you're doing a lot of labs, you're doing a lot of simulations, looking at crime scenes, analyzing data, rather than the traditional, you'll sit at a desk, listen to me lecture for five days straight. So hopefully you're not expecting to listen to me lecture for five days straight, because that's no fun. Uh, but just understand that I want you guys to be as engaged as possible Obviously, this year with all the precautions with COVID, it's going to be a little bit different when it comes to labs. We may be transitioning to more demo type materials, but it is still going to be a great course for you. And I promise you will have a really, really good time. So forensics, again, it is just one semester long. So I will have you just for this first semester. Um, when we take a look at things you might possibly need, Binder or folder, just because when we do labs, you'll get paper, but you'll be able to keep that paper. You won't be turning it into me at all this year. And then always having a ink, ink pen or pencil, either or, whichever you prefer to write in. Some of the different topics that we are going to cover, we are going to start with evidence, crime scenes, and then also looking at time of death as well. This will be some of our very first units. We also do types of prints different documentation analysis, hair analysis, handwriting analysis, um, and then toxicology as well, where we take a look at different types of drugs, over-the-counter drugs and illicit drugs that could assist or cause somebody's untimely demise. Something that is super important, you guys are my juniors and my seniors, so you guys know the deal with makeup work. If you miss one day, you have a day to make it up. Please, because we do a lot of activities in labs, do not get behind, okay? I do accept late work, that is fine, just get it turned in, but each day we're gonna be doing something, okay? So you gotta make sure that you're staying on top of your work, and as long as you're doing stuff during class, you're not really gonna have any homework ever, okay? So it's really good. Grading. This is a little bit different. You know how in most classes you'll actually have like 70% test quizzes, 20% labs, and then 10% homework, okay? We won't do that. Everything goes into one category. It's worth 100%. It's called total points. And in that, everything is basically weighted the same. So the assignments that we are doing in class are just as important as the labs, which are just as important as the tests and quizzes that we will take. Okay, so on this one, this is the class that's the easiest for you to track um, what grade you currently have and what you need to get at the very, very end on a test if you're concerned about that. With grading, though, make sure that you are monitoring home access. Okay, home access is going to be the most up to date. Will you have some assignments in Canvas where you submit them and you get a grade where you see it on Canvas? Yes, of course. But home access is going to be the one that is the most up to date because everything that you guys do may not be through Canvas. It may be in class as well, discussions that we have, things like that. So you want to make sure you're checking home access regularly. All right. Again, if you need me at any time, you can always email me through the actual like email system or you can just send me a message in Canvas. I'll get it through that way as well. My schedule in case if you need me, I am downstairs SC 147 in the morning and then SC 249 in the afternoon, okay? Feel free, I'm always here early in the morning and I typically am here late because I do coach. 
So if you ever need help or whatnot, set up a time or to make up a lab, we can always set up that time. All right, so that's just quick overview sort of of what we are gonna be doing this year, um, how the class will be structured. This is a really great class for you, especially if you're considering, hey, you might wanna do something in science or you really enjoy all the crime scene shows on TV um, or even if science is just an interest for you, this is another great class. Um, if you have any questions, again, reach out to me. I'm excited to get to learn your names and meet you guys and hopefully see your beautiful masked faces here sometime soon. You guys have a great one.